What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 7 of the tutorial series on deploying a Flask application on Amazon ECS using Fargate. In the previous tutorial, we had created Fargate cluster and now in this tutorial, we will create the service and spin up the container defined within the task definition. Right, so at the end of this tutorial, we will be able to see the Flask application up and running uh, using Fargate, right? So assuming that you already have logged in into AWS management console and once you are there navigate to elastic container service. Now here this is the cluster that we had created in the previous tutorial right so click on that cluster. Now within service click on create right so here we are going to configure the service so within launch type select forget right. Now within task definition, since we have only one task definition, so uh, it has picked up by default. So that's the Flask application and the revision that is latest, that is one. Platform version latest, cluster name. Now give it a service name. I will say S1. Service type replica. So daemon service type is not supported within Fargate, right? So it is uh, by default replica. Right, so here we have to define number of tasks. So I will say one. So basically, uh, this will set the number of instantiation of the specified task definition to place and keep running on your cluster. Right, so it maintains the number of tasks that we want to run uh, within the given cluster. Right now, within deployment, uh, leave it as it is. Uh, say rolling update. Say click on next. Now within cluster VPC, uh, select the VPC cluster that you might have created while creating the cluster or if not, then select the default VPC. Select the subnet that you want the task scheduler to consider uh, in the VPC for placement, right? So I will say USS to 1B and 1A probably. Now coming to the security groups, I will say edit. I will select the existing security group. So I will select ECS flask docker that we have created in one of the tutorial within this series. So it has port number 80 and port 22 open though we don't require port 22 here. So select the security group and say save. Then auto assign public IP enabled. Uh, then we have the load balancer. So we are not going to uh, configure load balancer here. So we will leave it none, right? And then app mesh, uh, then service discovery. Uh, we are not going to enable service discovery. Then click on next. So this is the auto scaling part. So you can configure the service auto scaling based on the CloudWatch metrics, right? So I will leave it as it is. Next. And finally say create service. So the service is created, say view service, reload this. So now we have one service up and running. So click on that. Now if you scroll down, you will be able to see two container uh, that is in the pending state right now. So we have to wait uh, till that state is changed to running, right? So let's reload this. So now as you can see both the containers are up and running. So what we can do is we can copy this public IP address and try to load our Flask application. So I will copy this, paste, enter. So as you can see we have our Flask application up and running using AWS Fargate. So apart from that uh, here we have a few details regarding the task definition and the service that is running, right? So public IP, private IP and MAC address and whatnot, right? So you can go through it. So here you can also find the logs. Probably you can select the container. If I say Nginx container, then it will display the logs over here, right? Same goes for Flask container. Or you can also navigate to the CloudWatch logs. So for that you go to details, expand this Nginx and Click on view logs in CloudWatch, right? So this is how you can also 
uh, go through the CloudWatch logs of this. So well, this is how you can deploy the Flask application on the Amazon ECS using Fargate, right? Well, that's it for this tutorial. Until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below and I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.